Hello everyone, it's Miss Connor here. I've come back to read you all another story. Today I've chosen Bee Goo by Alexis Deacon. Bee Goo. Bee Goo was not supposed to be here. She was lost. Oh dear. No one seemed to understand her. Some wouldn't even stay still to listen. Oh, what's she trying to talk to? The leaves, that's right, all done. From far away, she thought she heard her mother calling. It's like a big city there. Bring, 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 bring. But it wasn't her. Bigu didn't like being alone. She needed to find some friends. And she did at last. What she found? Some puppy, that's right. Hmm, what on earth? But Bigu wasn't wanted there, it seemed. Oh no. Then she thought she'd found the perfect place. Oh, I wonder where she's at. Don't it looks like the school playground, doesn't it? And it was the perfect place. Can you see her having lots of fun? But not everyone thought so. Her friends wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye, said Bigu. Once again, from far away, she thought she heard her mother calling, but she knew it couldn't be. Or could it? Oh, what's there in the distance? And it was. Oh, you see Bigu with her parents now. Oh, I wonder how she's feeling. Bigu told her parents all about life on Earth and how the Earth creatures were mostly big and unfriendly. But there were some small ones and they seemed hopeful. Bigu would always remember the small ones. Oh, so she likes the children. <laughs> and she hoped they would remember her too. Can you see her there? And that's the end for today. I hope you enjoyed that story, children. Bye for now.